If you've created a series of HDR photos, you might be looking for a way to share these on your big screen TV at home to friends and family where they'll look amazing as HDR. And an easy way to do that is by creating an HTML slideshow in WebShot Pro version 6. Let's start with the beginning here. I'm going to just delete what I've already created. And all you need to start are a series of images you've already exported. I recommend you probably try and export them with fixed height and 2160, which would be the correct height for 4K. That way, no matter whether they are wide or tall, they'll come out in the correct height and the edges will just have dark bars on the TV to kind of fill out the screen. So I've already created these images. All I need to do now is go into WebSharp Pro to the top right flyout menu, choose Create HTML Slideshow. Note that this supports HDR. It does not require it. So you could use this for any image and it would even support videos. We're just simply going to point to a folder of content and it'll create the slideshow. When you go in here, there's just a few options. I want to open the slideshow in a browser by default just so I can see my output. If you show the exported folder, of course, you'll see the HTML file that it created. You may want to name it as index.html if you're going to take the whole set of content, both the HTML and the images, to upload to your website where you can share them with anyone. And then the sort order is the default ordering of the images created in the slideshow. You can even customize this later, which I'll show at the end of the video. So I'm just going to create the slideshow and open it up with everything sorted by name. I need to point to my folder of images, say open, and it's already been created. Within the slideshow, we can choose different speeds for the delays to move between the images. You'll see directions on how to go full screen or even click I for an info overlay if you need a little bit of diagnostic information. Once you're ready, just go ahead and start the slideshow. You can hit F to go full screen. And if your computer's connected to your TV over HDMI, then you'll be able to see it in all its beautiful HDR glory. So that's really it. Within this slideshow, there's just a couple of quick options to note. You can open this up in any text editor. I personally like to open it up in a free program from Microsoft called Visual Studio Code. When you open it up in VS Code, it will color code the text, which makes it easier to read. And you'll see up top, there are options to customize. So you can ignore all this kind of dense content below. Up top are the options for how long the delay would be if you increase or decrease them. So if you want to set custom delays, you can change the default. And then here's the actual media that's been created. So it's pointing to content. If I suddenly decide I don't want to use an image, I could go and just delete it from the list. Or maybe I want to change the order of things. So I want to take this and move it to the top. I can cut and paste or in VS Code, I can hold down Alt or Option and push up and down to move it. So by doing this, I've made the Mountain Mystique image the default first position. Let's go make our delay a little bit faster at two seconds. Go ahead and save this. And now when I open it up, we'll see that it opens right to that image I chose with a default of two seconds. Now to learn more about WebSharp Pro version six, click to this next video.